let's get on to alpha genome. So I do have a few notes because it sounds very interesting. It's an enabling technology, it looks like, that allows you to kind of, I think it's a million base pairs or something like that. You can input a gigantic chunk of DNA and out pops information about what is going on in it. So if there's a weird, rare genetic disease, or something, it can find it and it can go like these couple of base pairs are what's causing the problem. The really interesting thing about this is apparently what you used to have to do was choose. You could either get a kind of a coarse grain resolution or you could zoom in and you could enhance, zoom in and enhance, and you could see a little piece of it and you could see that in high resolution. And the really cool part is that it uses CNNs or convolutional neural networks to look through it. It filters the base pairs and it looks for in interesting base pairs that have potentially some pro sort of problem or something that they might do. And then on top of that, as a second layer, it puts transformers in there. And transformers, of course, are attention mechanisms. And so you can use these transformers to go back and look at all million of these things and say, what would be the most logical connector to this? It's, it's predicting potential diseases, problems, et cetera. And also, interestingly enough, it says that the, one of the things that they've unlocked with this is non-expressive gene pairs. And so what this allows you to do is to look at the expressive, the non-coding, expression parts of the DNA sequence.